to yell it but I can't because I'm on the plane so I have to like stay quiet but we are going to New York guys it is happening I haven't been there for two years and a half and the excitement is real And we are in New York. Finally, we managed to get to the hotel. Now we're going for dinner. We were in the airport for the customs two hours and a half in the plane for eight hours. It's 3 a.m. in Switzerland, but we're gonna make it. We're going for dinner. We're here finally. And I just wanna show you everything. I lived here for two years and I haven't been in New York for two years and a half. So I'm so excited to show you and I'm so excited to see like if everything changed. Oh, I already see like, you know, it's always so different every time you come back to New York, it's new places opening. I'm not tired anymore. I'm feeling <laughs> great. Good morning, friends. We just woke up and got out of the hotel. Last night we went to Casa Cipriani. It was so beautiful, so beautiful. It's a members club only, but if you can get the chance to go, you should definitely, because it's an amazing place. I was so jet lag and I still am. If you guys have any idea what I can do to be less jet lag I would really appreciate a little comment and let me know now we're out going to explore the city let's hope that I'll make it through the day jet lag really really affects me a lot look at the size of these pancakes <laughs> wow I am the color of your egg well <laughs> We just got to the Manhattan Vintage Market and I'm looking for a Chanel blazer, but it's huge. So I don't really know where I'm gonna find it. How am I going to find a Chanel blazer in all these vintage clothes? I have no clue. I found some Chanel, but not what I'm looking for. This could be cute, but mm, no. I absolutely loved this coat, but it was so heavy I couldn't carry it. I didn't manage to find the Chanel vintage blazer that I wanted and it was a super quick run through everything. It was an hour because um, someone here didn't have the patience. No, but I mean for a guy, I understand that it's like super annoying to have to go through all of the items. But you can find some really goodies, some really like nice goodies if you have the patience to, to look over everything. But there's so many people, so many clothes and nothing nice Chanel yeah you need like a whole day but anyway now we're on to um, continuing our Manhattan tour 
flat iron that is currently in renovations. The best windows in Berkeley. Oh my god, the wind. We are on Fifth Avenue. This is so exciting. We just finished lunch, party, brunch in this place called Bilbo Kim. I highly recommend it for Saturday if you want to have a little bit of fun as well as feel like partying. The food is okay, nothing crazy, but it's a cool party place. As you saw, it's like vibey and um, the crowd is nice, the music is cool. So if you're into that, you can try it out. Now we're gonna walk back to Soho where we're staying. I absolutely love walking and being on the streets of New York. We arrived in the place where I used to work because I lived in New York for two years and I used to work here for the brand Oscar de la Renta, for those of you who know it, all this celebrity gowns on the red carpet and now I just came back to the office building it was an, an amazing 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 life experience if you have any questions about it well let me know guys in the comments but I've been here every day the entrance of the office building huge building I love the rain with the sun! Tonight we're going for dinner in Cipriani again, the Cipriani downtown. And afterwards we're gonna go up to Socialista. I'm gonna try and show you guys a little bit. It's a very cool bar, I used to hang out there a lot. Super fun music and um, intimate, really, 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 really nice place. Let's go. They deliver at our door some goodies from the bakery next to the hotel. Mm. The feeling of waking up in the morning and having fresh goodies waiting for you at your door. Delicious. Good morning, my friends. A new day in New York. Finally, not feeling jet lag anymore. Feeling good. I think key is to hydrate yourself a lot and to not sleep during the day and really try to adapt to the new uh, time zone. Yesterday, we did Cipriani again. We clearly love that place. Then we went to Socialista, super nice. Um, 
club upstairs, then to another place, Butterfly. And today, I think we're gonna go shopping around Soho a little bit. So if you wanna see what I find, if we find something cool, continue watching, because today is all about shopping. I hope you guys are loving this New York vlog. We're only here for just four days, so I cannot really show you as much as I would love to, but it's just the beginning. We're gonna come back. For now, it's shopping, restaurants, bars, and sightseeing. The most successful shopping day I bought a few things which I'm gonna show you guys but it was my boyfriend and I and he wanted to buy things I wanted to look for things also and you know when you go shopping with a guy well I mean they have patience but it's not the same like when you go alone and spend a lot of time browsing and well you know and one day in New York is not enough also the brands that are not American that are European are more expensive here much more expensive so honestly if you don't find an item that you really, really, really love, there's no point for you to purchase it from here if you could buy it from um, Europe because it's gonna be a better price over there. So that was out of the question. The cool thing about the stores in New York is that they look amazing. First of all, they're so different than what you can see in Europe. And second of all, the selection of items is insane. You can find anything. Like you saw, I found the Valentino shoes, which are so hard to find everywhere else. I didn't buy them because they're not my size. They're not my perfect size. I'm still thinking about them, but we'll see. I bought this dress from Intermix. Intermix is a multi-brand store which has a super, super great selection of pieces. They have more stuff online. I thought I was gonna find much more because I was looking online and then I absolutely love a few items they had over there. And I was sure I was gonna find them in the store to try them out, but they didn't have them. So I got this dress, which is so beautiful. It's little cropped over here and then short. It's very nice, I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna show it to you guys on my Instagram actually. You can check it out over there. You're gonna see me wearing it. It's from Jonathan Simkai. I hope I'm saying this correctly. Never bought anything else from this brand, but um, the material is very good. And the style is super cool. I love the puffy sleeve. Really, really nice. Then I have another brand that I absolutely really love over here, Reformation. The packaging, not the best. I mean, this is what they gave it to me in, but it is what it is. And these dresses are really cool. So I got this one. They run a bit small, so if you want to purchase, like, get a bit of bigger size. This is a size 6. Very cool. You know, like the details, like the sleeves over here. And then another red one. We are going to the Dominican Republic in a few days, so I really wanted some dresses that are going to work for that location. And these ones are definitely gonna work out very, very well. I ordered some other stuff online and they didn't arrive yet and I'm a bit 
annoyed. I really hope they will make it in time. But yeah, so this is it. This is all I bought today. We stayed at the 60 Soho Hotel. I wanted something downtown because I really love this area. I used to live in Soho, so I needed to feel a little bit close to where I was before. The rooms are nice, the hotel looks great, but honestly, not a five-star service at all. Let me show you our room. It's a bit of a mess, but just ignore it. I just want to show you how cool it is. And the bedroom over here with a super cute balcony right in the middle of Soho. A little mini bar. It's a very minimalist room but cool style. And the bathroom is here. I love the colors really 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 cool and it's quite big This is her family. Hello, this is the last day in New York. Tomorrow morning we're leaving. I forgot to show you guys, I got these sunglasses too. Very, very cool, I love them. We are on the Upper East Side today. We're gonna walk around a little bit, see if we can find something else. It's finally sunny and warm. Last night we went to this amazing sushi place with an omakase at Takeda. It was literally just us two because we went late and it's like we had the whole restaurant to ourselves. I mean, it's not like we had the whole restaurant to ourselves. The food, insane. We had 18 courses, 18 little sushis, nigiris, sashimis, delicious. Now let me show you around Upper East Side. <laughs> So many of the stores have closed down on Madison Avenue. There's insanely amount of empty spaces. Walking now, Giuseppe Zanotti is closed. So many stores. It used to be a street full, full of luxury stores. And now, unfortunately, many empty spaces. The Ralph Lauren building is insanely beautiful. They have one here on this side and another one on this side, which unfortunately is under renovation. There's so many buildings under renovation these days. It is the flagship store of Ralph Lauren and it's 
the most beautiful store I've seen of theirs. There's also the one in London, but this is uncomparable. It has three floors. It's like a huge mansion. It is so classy, so beautiful. The atmosphere in the store is different on every single floor because it depends on what they sell. It's just insane. After the shopping, we stopped at the Baccarat Hotel for a little snack and drinks. I love this place. Amazing for afternoon tea or food. It is 6.30 a.m. and we are getting ready to go to the airport. We've got the car waiting downstairs. And we're going to warm weather, Dominican Republic. Let's go.